Hi, I'm Zia Scaravalla from ZK Research, and I'm here at Enterprise Connect 2023. I'm on site here in the Expo Hall. It's a massive Expo Hall. Uh, I'm here at the ThetaLink booth, who actually was a Best of Enterprise Connect winner this year. And uh, what they do is uh, uh, an underappreciated aspect of communicate, unified communications, which is the compliance and security of your communications. And often companies don't really think about that until they actually have a problem occur. So I'm going to go talk to a couple of people at the booth. We'll get a demo of the product. So let's go in and have a look. All right, I'm here now at the booth with Dan Nader. Uh, I was the Chief Product Officer at Theta Lake. And so for people who don't know who you are, just give us a quick intro, first of all, on yourself and then the company Theta Lake. Sure, uh, I'm yeah Chief Product Officer. I've been working in the security and compliance space for a very, very long time. My focus is on SaaS applications, and uh, I've been here for about three years. Yeah, and, and so what does Theta Lake do? Yeah, so Theta Lake is a security and compliance company that helps great vendors like these add more security to the systems that they're trying to deliver. So a big problem that companies have is they buy all this great technology, and then they realize like, oh, we can't keep the chat, we can't keep the video, and so they start turning off various components. So they have like worse ROI, uh, the compliance team isn't happy, and so when you plug in a Theta Lake, we can go hand in hand and give them a win-win solution where they can take better advantage of the apps that they have and also be compliant. And so which are the apps that you work with? Yeah, so we work with all of the big apps, so Ring Central and Zoom and WebEx and Microsoft, obviously. Any, we, we support about 100 uh, various integrations, so if there is a way to get data, we can figure out how to get it. Okay, and you've actually noticed that before, that customers will actually turn features off uh, because yeah, of compliance. Yeah, absolutely. We were in a meeting not long ago and someone was complaining that because in-meeting chat is turned off, they see that people like use their phones yeah. and they chat. And so it's like the worst case scenario because yeah, yeah. they're still chatting, but now nobody has that data. Yeah, and actually before I was an analyst, I actually came out of financial services myself and we noticed that at all, as soon as we started recording firewalls discussions, people would disconnect and tether off their phone and things exactly. like all, all kinds of workarounds. I've always said that when it comes to users, it's a little, remember the old Jurassic Park movie, Life Finds a Way? That's right. Users find a way. So the yeah. best thing you can do is facilitate it, but then be able to protect it, right? That's exactly so, right. Yep. So I did mention, and sorry about the spoiler alert here, uh, that you did win the Best of Enterprise Connect this year. What was that for? Yeah, so it was for our technology. I mean, we're incredibly honored. If you look at all of the amazing vendors who are here, uh, they do a lot of cool things, right? And so for uh, us to get voted Best Technology, I think really shows that um, the market values solutions like this because again, we're really enabling technology. If you have us, you can deploy lots of other things and get full, take full advantage. Okay, and I know uh, a lot of vendors use the show to announce new products. Did you announce anything here? Yeah, absolutely. So we announced a really cool partnership with a whiteboarding company called Mural. Yeah, they're and one of the most more widely used. That's right, right. Yeah. that's right. And, and if you talk to companies about whiteboards, they love whiteboards, right? They love the idea of whiteboards. It makes you collaborative. There's a ton of reasons to use whiteboards. But if you are uh, required to be compliant or you regulated, how do you actually capture that whiteboard, right? These whiteboards are infinite. They exist over time. People join, people leave. How do you actually capture that? So we've been working very closely with Mural to figure out a good way to make sure that we can retain all of the content that's in those whiteboards and enable these companies to deploy more, but make sure that they're doing it in a secure way. Yeah. And so I'm assuming with the type of work you do, it's regulated industries that are your low-hanging fruit, healthcare, financial services, but is this, do you have customers in other verticals using this? Yeah, we do. Um, anyone who wants to, keep content. I mean, we saw an interesting stat. Gartner says in, I think by 2025, 75% of companies are going to start keeping all this data because they want to, they view it as corporate data, right? They want to yes. be able to mine it. They want to be able to get insights out of it. But how do you do that, right? Even if you have a hundred people and they have one meeting a day, that's a hundred hours of video, yeah. right? How do you capture it? How do you sift through it? And companies like us can help you do that and make it really easy to do. Yeah, that's interesting because the big theme at the show this year obviously is generative AI, but AI is only as good as your data. That's right. Right, and so I think you're going to, you're right, we are going to see a spike in companies keeping more data because 
you know, the better your data, the better your insights, right? So that's, that's right. actually an interesting pivot. So, uh, so that was, you know, really interesting setup. Thanks for that. But perhaps the best way for people to really understand what you do is to is to show it. So, Absolutely. do you guys have time for a demo? Absolutely. Okay, let's go over and have a have have a look at the product. All right, so, sounds yeah, good. Yeah. All right, I'm here now with Stephen Westcoat. You're a senior sales engineer for Theta Lake. Uh, you're going to give us a demo of the product, right, yes. and how it works. So let's take a look yeah, at it in action. Definitely. So, so this is kind of our screen on how we start setting up the collaboration platforms. We have a, over 100 different integrations that we can use to be able to, to, to ingest content. So we use the OAuth authentication back to that tenant, and once we have that connection set up, content starts flowing in, and we start capturing that data within the system. And these are all the platforms you work with? These are all the platforms today, and we're constantly adding new platforms yeah. depending on the API access. I'm not sure who else there is. Yeah, so, there's yeah, there's yeah. tons of them, yeah. yeah. So, so basically, once we have that data coming in, it's captured, you can see the capture section, yeah. um, and then you have the ability to do e-discovery um, within that, that content as it comes in. And so we normalize all the data, so each um, message and chat and uh, Teams uh, information will look the same as a, a Zoom or a WebEx chat. So it's very easy to do, and then you have the e-discovery, we have about 80 different um, features that you can do on the search, and you can save those searches for complex search terms. And then after that, if you want us to be the archive of record, we can do that, or we can send it downstream to you know, these existing archive record uh, uh, archive uh, vendors out there that already have, you know, that the companies already have, so they don't have to rip and replace everything out of um, today. So that, okay. that's basically how the flow works, and then you have e-discovery, and then you have also legal hold, and you can ex export all this data if you need to, to, um, you know, to lawyers and stuff like that. All right, so I think the best way to help people understand is actually show us this in action. So sure. can you do that? Sure, yeah, definitely. I'm going to kind of talk about Microsoft Teams because that's the widely, the most used uh, yeah. platform out there. And so what I'm going to show you is how an integration or an application or a record is ingested into the system and then we can help enable more features that have been turned off because compliance says they can't capture it and then we can help enable that. So with this uh, record right here with Jacob and Charlie, you can see that we capture all the native format of the chat. We redacted information, so if so there's... So this is an actual customer transcript that yes, you've redacted? Yes, this, is, this okay. is redacted. So yeah. let's say there's a credit card number in there, you didn't want other people to have that uh, for uh, data loss. You can redact content. We also capture the emojis and uh, GIFs within the, the, the record. It's all natively viewed. So if you look at a Microsoft Teams uh, record compared to a Zoom, it's all going to look the same. So you don't have to retrain compliance that, that each application is different. Now from what I understand, some other solutions actually they don't. They don't actually capture those types. It just shows you data, metadata. Right? Yeah, they yeah. just basically each each uh, line is a different um, email that's sent out to the archive, and so that you have to kind of, as a compliance officer, you kind of cut and paste to put that back together. With our system, it makes it very easy to look and see what they're talking about within that solution, and then I can also do what we call our uh, full conversation view, where we stitch it all together. So let's say this channel was uh, out there for six months. Let's say I, um, I was talking about a, a project and we were trying to figure out what I was talking about. Well, as a compliance officer, I'd have to go back and, and look at all those individual records. This is all the content uh, that uh, relates back to that, that incident, and it just makes uh, compliance uh, reviewing a lot faster and easier. Huh. And then, so you can do this for different types of conversations? Yep. You know, it could be voice, video, it could be chat, all those different yeah. um, uh, integrations that we, we uh, Compliance officers must love you. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Makes their job easier, yeah. faster. Uh, yep. All right. Well, thanks. I appreciate the demo. No. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. That wraps up the ZK Tour. I'm here again at Enterprise Connect 2023. If you happen to be a customer using at least one of these many collaboration tools, and I know most of you out there use at least one, most, uh, I think two to four is the average number that I've seen from my research, uh, Theta Lake is, can certainly help you retain data and, uh, and, and look through it and, and maintain compliance. So uh, I'm Zias Karavall from ZK Research. I'll see you next time on another ZK Tour, and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.